Well, the new pilot program aims to make Monterey County supervisors, this new program rather, is regarding Monterey County supervisors and their meetings, making them more accessible to Spanish speakers. We're gonna stay at the courthouse for this one and KIOM's Natalie Gutierrez spoke with people who say this is a great push for the Latino community to be more involved. A chance for Spanish speakers to listen and weigh in on the Monterey County Supervisors meetings. That's what the county did by having a pilot program that started last month. And it's to have Spanish interpretation in the virtual version of the meetings. Something that Magdalena Bautista, who lives in Salinas, says it's extremely important because, like herself, not a lot of people in the area know how to speak English. Pues para saber lo que está pasando. We need to know what's going on in the meetings as well. We do need Spanish interpreters. Monterey County says this pilot program stems from a referral from both supervisors Luis Alejo and Christopher Lopez. To ensure that we are providing this information to those in our community, not only to the English speaking, but to the Spanish speaking as well. The county's pilot program says they have two Spanish interpreters for people who watch the meetings through Zoom, YouTube, and Facebook. The county also says the interpreter meetings can be viewed on the supervisor's calendar. The county says for people who come to the meetings in person, they get provided a headset so they can hear the Spanish interpreters on Zoom. They also say this type of pilot program wasn't placed years ago because of numerous things. I know they've provided an on-site uh, Spanish interpreter for public comments. I don't know if the thought what the thought wasn't there that, you know, we can probably look at the technology and launch this. I think it was due to the pandemic. It may seem difficult, but behind the scenes, it's just pushing a couple of buttons. Valerie Ralph, the clerk of the Monterey County Board of Supervisors, says the Spanish participation has increased over the last several weeks, and their long-term goal for the pilot program is... My part now with this board referral is to report back to the board after July 16th and give them the statistics that we see um, in our Zoom um, data that we have. And for people like Bautista, she thinks this pilot program came at a right time. It's never too late to start. It's always important to know what's going on around our community. In Salinas, Natalie Gutierrez, KION, News Channel 46. Essential to have that participation in your native language. The county says the pilot program will continue through July 16th.